I'm extremely intelligent. I always have been. I'm very grateful. Number two, I was born in a free country that invests in powerful minds. Those two advantages have, have without question been a huge part of why I've gotten to where I am. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, those are the only two things I can find that were lucky. And mm. that is fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> so, and by the yeah. way, if it, it, just those two things are what I had to work with. Mm. Mm. And I did, okay. and I worked with them. And I worked yeah. with them and I did my best with those two things. And so it, ultimately it was what I said, did, think, feel, and believe that made the difference. And my car accident really woke me up, but I'm not mm -hmm. naive enough to think that if it's meant to be, it'll be. If, if it's meant right. to be, right. you'll do what you can to maximize the probability that it happens. And truth be told, that is an empowering belief, even though it feels disempowering. Yeah, I like that. I like that. There is, there is... Um seldom less said things than finding someone who you know to be truly talented or they have a particular gift and they don't use it and or they don't even know that they have it or they don't acknowledge it um so that so even if you even even if you have these let's say natural abilities or 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 um these advantages over others over filling the blanks right uh your uh what's what's it known as um uh, your unfair advantage in the marketplace, whatever the marketplace is, if you never competitive take action, advantage, yeah. competitive advantage, yeah. If you never take yeah. action, then it's right. It doesn't take you anywhere. So, so this is a good segue. I know we're coming to, to an end here, but it's a great segue to, um, talk about gratitude. And then we're, we're going to close after talking about gratitude. What's, what's, what's the role of gratitude in, in, in your day to day life? Uh, how do you, so my three core values are legacy, rationality, and candor. Rational. And I'm hyper rational. So when I was a kid, I used to, I used to think that a lot of people were, were unintelligent and lazy. I realize now in hindsight, I was hyper intelligent and very hardworking, but I also grew up in an environment where there was a lot of lazy, unintelligent people. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, I'm not trying to be unkind. I just can't lie yeah, to yeah. people. I just won't mm -hmm. lie about it. It's just the truth. Yeah. I mean, no one was reading books. No one liked their career. No one had goals and dreams. Everyone drank every weekend. Like yeah, yeah. there was no aspiration. It, it was a lot of entitlement and it was a lot of just BS. And so, yeah, of course, yeah. I ran in the other direction and I tried to create the most meaningful, virtuous life possible. Yeah, um, yeah. The, the gratitude I have for getting financial aid and scholarships to be able to go to college and get out of mm -hmm. the small minded town that I was in yeah. is unbelievably tremendous. I still actually live in the Northern part of that town, believe it or not, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I have a global business. So I'm, I have a yeah. global perspective yeah. because you know, the yeah. internet allows yeah. you to live kind of wherever you want. Whereas yeah. if I wanted to have a big impact in the past, I'd have to be in, you know, cities and stuff. But anyways, yeah. so yeah. I'm very, very, very grateful for certain things in my life. Number one greatest gift of my life, hands down, is my girlfriend, Emilia. Uh, she is actually the reason why I went to my therapist, Carol, in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very, very grateful to be born in a country that has a, a very, very strong economy, the strongest economy in the world, by a significant margin, actually, if you look at the numbers. Yeah. Um, and I say that with gratitude, not entitlement. I say that with mm -hmm. gratitude, even though I think a lot of people in my country are very entitled and they don't realize it. Um Yep. And then, and then I'm also very, 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 very grateful for my gifts. And for those of you who do feel gifted, uh, there's a, there's an upside and a downside. Mm. <laughs> and it's mm. so interesting because the downside really does suck. The downside is, um, and, and maybe this is poor me, but, uh, Kevin and I always talk, he's my business partner. And I said, when you believe in yourself a lot. So if you are gifted, you probably believe in yourself a lot, particularly in that thing. <clears throat> mm. Uh, and what comes with that is possibility, but what comes with possibility is, I mean, just, just bone crushing responsibility mm -hmm. because when you know you can make positive change and then you don't, it eats away at you and right. you're unrelatable right. and unlikable. If you're on the statistical high end of anything, you're going to be unlikable. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. look at the greatest athletes and how much hate they get. 